Hello, and in this video, we're going to go through the scripture that was chosen for the 2016 uh, LTC, Signing Interpreting for the Deaf. Uh, of course, you know that, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Anyway, uh, the scripture is Psalms 42, 4 through 8. And uh, this one is a challenge in a different way than a lot of the other ones that I've chosen in the past. The vocabulary here is not difficult, very little finger spelling, and there's not a whole lot of verses. But this one, this one is one that uh, comes from the heart. And so as you sign this, I want you to be thinking about how you want to get these verses to come from the heart. These verses are David, we assume, who's written it. And David is struggling with himself. He starts off by saying, you know, I remember, I remember how I used to pour out my soul and how I used to go with the group and I'd actually lead them to church. And then he asks himself a question, so why am I so depressed? I'm sure some of us have felt that way on occasion. And this is his banter with himself and the conflict that he's having inside of himself, knowing that with God's blessings, he should not be depressed, but yet he is. And sometimes I think that we as Christians forget that it is okay that is part of human nature to uh, be downcast occasionally. Okay, and this is how David deals with it. All right, preaching's done. Let's get into the into the scripture itself. Here we go. These things I remember. Okay, these, and you just take and you just take your finger and you just kind of one, two, three, four. All right, and just kind of run them across. See if I do that sideways if it's easier to see. Okay. These things I remember. Okay. These things. And things is just, look around and you go, what is all this stuff? Okay. Uh, if you can do, what is all this stuff? Then you can do things. Uh, I point to yourself. Uh, in sign language, a finger pointing is a pronoun. So you, me, if there was a lady in here, it'd be she. If there was a cat in there, it'd be it. Uh, you just point, okay? When you're talking about God, oftentimes you just point up. With God, sometimes you'll point up with an open hand. Either way is right when you're talking about God. Discourse on uh, pronouns there. Remember, I want to take it from my brain and I'm going to thumbtack it onto my thumb. Okay, I want to remember. I'm going to put it up on our bulletin board so I got it remembered there. As I pour out my soul, okay, now we can do this very literally. And you're going to find as we go through this that there are some things that we're going to do literally and some things that we're not. And I'm not going to do a pour out my soul, which would be a literal translation. To take something and to pour it out is to take something that's in and take it out my soul okay but instead I'm going to take my soul and I'm going to pour out okay I'm going to take it from my heart and I'm just going to lay it all out there as I pour as I pour out my soul okay see how I did that and if you'd rather do the uh, uh, the more literal translation you know pour out my soul that would be perfectly fine you will lose no points in fact you do this the way you feel best about it and if the way I'm interpreting some of this stuff differs from the way you read it and you want to interpret something a little differently go right ahead all right, don't think of this as a gold standard. All right, as I pour out my soul, my, again, it's one of the other pronouns, and just like he, she, it, him, 
It's the same thing, only it has an open palm. So yours, mine, hers, its, his. Okay. <clears throat> As I pour out my soul. And soul is kind of like sewing. Now I know for the deaf, the so and soul don't sound the same because they don't have sound. But for us hearing folks, it's a nice kind of a way to be able to remember that sewing is souling, okay? How I went with the throng. How I, okay, how, take your finger, take your hands flat, put them together, and then just roll them toward you, okay? How I went, okay, this is to go, and I, I went with, you take two A hands and put them together, the throng, okay, now we don't normally use the word throng, we would use the word group, or the, the mob, or the, the, the bunch of people, the crowd maybe would be the better way of saying that, okay. I how how I went with the crowd, the throng, and just make a group of people here, and led them in procession to the house of God, and led them. Okay, now what did I just do there? First of all, that's led. You just kind of take the fingertips and pull them a little bit, and you just lead them in front of you there. But what I did there is I created a throng of people. And then I said I led them. So I created them in the middle of the air there. I left them hanging and then I could point to them and say them. Okay? <clears throat> in procession. And I'm going to leave out the word in. It's just a connector. It's not actually in anything. Okay? So, in a procession, these are all the people in that throng you just created, and they're marching. And you might even think of it with a little bit of a beat. Okay? Uh, in a procession to the house of God. Okay? The house. You got a roof, and you got walls. That's a house of God. And I will probably put the of in there. The deaf probably would not. If you leave it out, that's fine. But have it over the years would probably make me where I do that. It's just O-F. Of. Alright? Of God. And God is like coming out, coming up, and coming down. In a smooth motion. Okay? It's not jerky like I just did it. It's not El Roboto. It's a lot smoother. All right. With glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving. With, we already know, glad, glad. Okay. And it's just, and the smile has to be there. All right. Now, it can be a sad smile. With, and it can have a little consternation on your, on your brow there. Smile. It's, the smile is there whether it's real or not. If you do not smile, if you just be like this and you do this, you're not smiling, you're throwing up. Okay? So don't throw up. Smile. Okay? <clears throat> so glad shouts. You got a big mouthful of sound and you're going to spread it out. Shouts. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still working on that voice. I feel like I've been sick all winter. If I, if it comes and goes, I apologize here. With glad shouts and songs and song of thanksgiving. Touch your chin and then Give the thanks in the direction of whether you're giving thank you. So if I'm saying thank you to you, it's thank you. If I'm saying thank you to God, I'm saying thank you. Okay? Get a little tilted back there. And thank you. Thanksgiving. A multitude keeping festival. 
Okay, keeping festival. Okay, we know what a multitude is, right? A multitude is a throng, is a crowd, is a group, is a mob, and a multitude. Okay, uh, keeping festival though. We're not going to be holding on to some kind of object. So keeping festival is really another way of saying celebrating. Okay. And if you can imagine, you know, uh, Fourth of July, New Year's Eve, and you got the little things that you to kind of spin in the air, all right, that's the, the the sign for celebrate, okay, and celebration, okay. Why are you desk cast down, O oh my soul? So when I hear something is changing, David starts off with saying, "I remember how good things are." And then he asks a question. Oh, why are you cast down, oh my soul? So why are you cast down, oh my soul? And if you want to leave the O out, you can. Uh, but this is a sign for why. And it's the center finger touching your forehead and it's coming out. And there's a whole lot of different signs for why. So if you know a different sign for why, that's fine. But that's why, and that's why, and that's why. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. But this is the one I'm going to use, all right? Why are you cast down? I'm not even going to ask the question. I'm not even going to say, are you? Because I'm not really going to point to myself. I'm going to say, why cast down my soul all right uh it makes a lot more sense in sign language that way it, you lose some of the poetry but the poetry is shown in how you deliver the words here um, so why are you cast down my soul and why are and why disquieted inside me? And what it really says is, why are you cast down my soul, cast down, oh my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? And we're going to sign that as, why cast down my soul, and why troubled inside me? Okay, now your heart is here. So inside me would be inside my heart. I try not to put it over my pocket, okay? It's inside me, it's inside my heart, inside me. And this is a sign for in, so I just move it a little bit closer and make it inside me. Hope in God, for I shall again praise him. So you're talking to yourself, you've asked yourself, why are you so upset? Why are you troubled? And then you're telling yourself, hope in God. For, And then you tell yourself, I will praise him again. Or I shall praise. The English here is a little bit strange for sign language. But anyway, hope in God, for I shall again praise him. Okay, hope, wave at yourself, wave back, and hope nobody's looking. Okay, in God, for, point to your forehead and come out. And it's kind of a circular motion there. I'm going to turn sideways, see if that makes it easier for you to see. Um, that was one of the ones that, that people often have a hard time, hard time seeing. Hope in God, for... I shall, and this is the same sign you're using when you're introducing yourself, I will be signing or whatever, I shall be signing, same thing. Again, and it's kind of a, come again, don't be so exaggerated as that, but that's kind of the sign. It's not just, do, do. it's coming again, all right? Praise, golf clap. And you don't actually have to make the noise. But go clap him. My 
help and my God help is to take this hand and help it up just a little bit okay. help and my God okay we're halfway through my soul is cast down within me now you ought, probably ought to know how to do this already my soul is cast down within me we know all those signs therefore I remember you okay therefore and it this is really the sign for then okay there is no really a good sign for therefore uh, I have seen people do it like therefore but nobody gets it it's the three dots and anyway therefore uh, I remember and you know all those signs you okay from okay this is like pulling the string on the back of a doll that talks from uh, the land of Jordan and Hermon from Mount Mizar now here you're going to have to fingerspell there are no signs really for Jordan and Hermon and Miles Mizar okay so from the land the land is get a little bit of grit in your fingers and then make that grit over an entire area so that's land this is dirt area that's land <clears throat> okay of Jordan and I'm just going to suggest you practice signing these words over and over again so you don't have to think of the word you don't have to think of the letters when the deaf finger spell they're not finger spelling letters they're finger spelling words and that's what you should practice here so just walk around the house when nobody's looking and start Jordan 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 and then oh what's the next one uh, Herman okay uh, and the last one is Mizar okay M-I-Z-A-R don't say the letters uh, that'll be very important so practice saying those words and I think those are the only three words you're going to have to spell in this whole thing uh, I was nice this year I didn't have anybody having to sign something uh, about Belshazzar or Nebuchadnezzar uh, so consider yourself lucky three easy words to spell okay from the land of Jordan and of Hermon from Mount Mizar Mount this is a sign for rock rocks going uphill is a mountain rocks going up a little hill is a hill okay mountain deep calls to deep and this is basically him saying I am way down depressed it is deep and inside me deep is calling to deep and he feels like and he, the he can hear the waves of an ocean crashing over him okay and that's what he's describing here so you might want to have so anything to do with water has one of these motions associated with it so you're going to see that a little bit as we go through this so deep calls to deep now what did I do there I did deep and then the second time I did it I was deeper so deep is calling to deeper okay at the thunder of your cataracts what on the earth it has what is it you know he can't see no these cataracts are completely different they're not, nothing to do with your eyes fogging over so thunder point to the ear and then make the sound okay and just shake a little bit it's not just you gotta get the whole body in that a little bit 
the thunder of your cataracts. Think of those pictures you've seen where you have a lighthouse standing out in the middle of the water and the waves are just crashing up and flashing up against them. Those are cataracts. Okay? All your waves, okay, cataracts are big waves. All your waves and your billows, okay, cataracts, waves, billows, they're all the same thing. All right? In English, we have three different words for the same thing. In sign language, mm, you got one. So, turns out, though, the deaf doesn't mind when you repeat the same word over and over again. For us English-speaking people, it drives us crazy. You know, find seven different ways of saying it. So, here we're just going to use waves. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Cataracts and waves and billows. You know, just making it look a little different. Have gone over me. Okay, this is me and it's going to come up and it's going to go over me. By day, the Lord commands his steadfast love. Now he's shifting back. He's saying, I need to remember this. Okay, he's gone through the, he started off with, I remember all the good things. I'm really having a hard time with this. But, I will remember that day by day, and this is every day, okay? And you can do day by day, but this is a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier and communicates better. Every day, the Lord, at the letter L, starting at the shoulder opposite your elbow, coming down to your hip, commands, and that's two fingers, just commands. I've also seen it as one finger. You can do it either way, but commands his steadfast, okay? This is continuous. This is going on and on and on, okay? And you take the, the thumb of the left, if you're right handed, you take your right hand and you push your left thumb along there with your thumb. Okay? Steadfast love and at night, I used to do at night, and you can leave at out if you wish, just at night, his song is in me. A prayer to the God of my life. Now notice what I did there. Okay, at night, his song is within me. Okay, that's clear. A prayer. A prayer. What did I just do there? That song that's inside me is a prayer to the God of my life. And life is just L's coming up. And that is the scripture. Okay, so before you actually start trying to sign this, I suggest you read through it a number of times and try to understand what it says. So that when you interpret it, you are interpret its meaning, not its words. Okay? And I think you know what, you, what I mean with that. Okay, good luck there at LTC. Looking forward to seeing you there.